Hello, I'm so excited to be making this video. Um, I recently decided that I'm going to fully revamp, reimagine, rebuild, and redesign my closet baby, like literally the entire wardrobe. I basically just want my whole closet to be full of pieces that are super versatile, interesting to look at, can be worn a bunch of different ways, and I want pieces that are actually wearable. I'm realizing that with my closet, there's a bunch of pieces that I just hold on to throughout the years that I don't even style or try to style or give the life that they deserve. And I'm just realizing like I would rather donate these clothes and have somebody give them a second life. Like these clothes deserve to go out there and live and be styled, but I'm just not doing them the justice. And I want to start fresh. fresh. Literally this past year has been the least inspiring year in fashion for me and probably everybody personally because the world was shut down and it's looking like thanks to this vaccine 2021 is going to be the year question mark that things question mark go back to question mark how they were question mark i don't know but i'm feeling more inspired fashionably now so i'm really taking this seriously today we are going to completely purge my closet together so get rid of everything that i've just been randomly holding on to and not utilizing or styling we are going to walk through the pdf that i have Literally, I'm taking this so seriously that I have a PDF divided by category of like pants that I'm ordering, tops that I'm ordering, accessories that I'm ordering, etc. And all the links I'll put in the description if you want to join me on the closet revamp. None of this is sponsored, by the way. Like, literally, not at all. But, um... Yeah, just thought I'd throw that out there. And I ordered so many clothes online already that I've been waiting to film this video so I could try them on with you and talk through why I bought those online and how they're going to play a role in the new closet. So yeah, basically my vibe is gonna be cool girl, comfortable, relaxed, and fashion forward, and stylish. Like I'm really gonna do the damn thing, so let's get into it. So I saw this TikTok from this girl and it kind of stuck with me and inspired me. And basically what she says is our clothes are meant to fit us. We are not meant to fit our clothes. And it's unrealistic to think that throughout all the different stages of our lives, we're just gonna maintain the same size. And it's silly. So that's what I'm gonna be keeping in mind today when we clean it out, girl. Okay, so the first step of this process was loosely figuring out what my style is. So I wanna have a good amount of streetwear fashion in my closet. Now, this is the baggy hoodies that you can layer a bunch of different ways. This is baggy pants. I'm so over using athleisure as a cop-out for streetwear. Like, I wanna be able to put on comfortable clothes and run around the town and look cool and put together. I'm so over being lazy and doing Nike pros and a sports bra and just like relying on that to be my outfit. I also do though need cool sweatpants, ones that look cool with little tiny tops maybe. Okay, so the next category of the closet is like nighttime outfits. What do I want those to be? So I'm gonna need a good balance in my closet of obviously like the cute little cocktail dresses, but I feel like I'm kind of good on that, like I have a bunch of those. And then I need like cool leather pants that can be styled a bunch of different ways, or cool baggy jeans that still look a little bit more elevated, like a little bit more nighttime without looking too boring. Like they just need to be the right cut, the right fit. Obviously we're not doing the skinny jeans anymore. So I wanted like that elevated look to go out in. The next vibe is the casual, cute daytime look. So like cute crop tops, cute little hoodies, cute little jackets that you can layer. Just easy things that you could throw on and style last minute that just, you throw them together and they look put together and cute. I feel like a really good example of this is Hailey Bieber. She always puts together these like easy looking streetwear outfits. I also like how Bella Hadid puts together her streetwear outfits. And then just comfortable, chilling at home looks. I feel a lot of vlogs so for me it's important to have in my closet pieces that look cool on camera but require literally no effort to think about what I'm putting on my body in the morning and also no effort to like be uncomfortable throughout the day. So yeah that's enough talking let's get into the closet baby. So recently I had to literally build a third row in the closet because I had so much stuff to fit and no room to put it. Tell me why I'm still having trouble putting together outfits with all these clothes. It's because I'm not passionate about them. So Let's get this revamp underways, baby. It is 
purge time. Also, if you want some of these clothes, let me know in the comments. I don't know how it's gonna work, but like, I'm totally happy to ship stuff out to you if you want it. So maybe I'll pick like 10 of you and ship stuff out to you based on the comments, question mark. Um, I don't know how it would work with like the sizing and everything. Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure out the details, but if you want them, comment and let me know. Okay, let's get this party started. I'm a little overwhelmed. I don't know where to start. Because I feel like I always, in theory, tell myself I'm going to wear things. Like, there's nothing wrong with these shoes. I could probably pair them with a good outfit, but I've had them for like three years. Like, I, these, ugh, I remember being like drunk in these. It's, it, I'm not even going to finish my sentence, but like, these are cute. But like, I haven't worn them. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to like get rid of things because I'm like randomly attached to things that I haven't worn in years for no good reason. Ugh. Ooh, I just got this. This is part of my new closet wardrobe. I haven't tried it on yet, but I'll show it to you later. What is it about this material that makes armpits smell so disgusting? I'm getting rid of this for that reason alone. Like, stuff like this, it's cute, but like, I'm not inspired by this. I don't want to put a look together around this. Goodbye. I really don't remember why I thought this bodysuit was a good idea. Honestly, maybe if it was styled correctly, but goodbye. I get so sad when I get sent these cute little corsets. Because they're size small, which like makes sense, but it's always when they throw in that underwire right here. Like the underwire will be here and my boob will like literally be double the amount of where the underwire is. It's so sad. Like this is adorable. But you have to have like a cup to make this work. Like there's no way around it. When I bought these Skims, like, turtleneck bodysuits, I remember when I saw the promo for them, I was like, these are gonna change my life. I got so many different colors and so many different styles, and I literally never reach for them or wear them. Honestly, maybe I just need to be styling them better, but they are not inspiring to me. But I'm still gonna cling on to the hope that one day I'll take them for spins regularly. But till then, look at how cute this House of CB dress is. I got it like a year ago and I haven't had any event to wear it to, but tip, House of CB masters fit. Like for some reason their dresses make my body look so good. Like always puts the boobs in the perfect spot, always really highlights the curves in the most flattering way possible. House of CB for little black dresses or cocktail dresses or like going out dresses, it is more expensive, but I find that it's always worth the money. Going with a House of CB over like a fast fashion-y place, because the quality they have is next level. Ooh, my God, I'm making progress. Like anytime I get a top like this sent to me, I just already know that it's not gonna work. And I have a size C, like size C boobs. It's not like my boobs are crazy, but am I the only one that these tops just do not work for? Like there's no way. Like my boob will literally just be like popping. It's not, it's not gonna work. Or this even, but it's so cute, but it's just, in, it's cute in theory, it never worked, wait. I wanna say this looks cute, I might keep this. Like I know it's not gonna fit me right and work, but like, not gonna give it up yet. Holding on to the help, baby. The amount of tie-dye crop tops that I have like this, I just have so many and it probably is the big reason why 2020, I never got creative. I would just throw on crop, like tie-dye sets nonstop because it was like the easiest thing and cute. But I feel like these are tired this year. Like we have been there and done that, but I'm still not gonna get rid of them. Cause they are easy and really cute. Oh my God. I'm so obsessed with this top. Like, this is the vibe that I'm thinking. Like, cool, unique pieces. I can't remember for the life of me what it's called, but I'll put it on the screen. Look how cool this looks. Like, this is cool. This is what I'm talking about. This is what we need more of. Interesting pieces. Like, I'm just over the basic shit. Oh my God, it's so crazy when you go through your closet how you find things. So this is perfect. I thought I didn't have one of these, but this is perfect to do that new, like, layered look with the vests. Like, have you seen those new styles i'll put some on the screen but like this look layered like this with this type of shirt underneath and then different sweaters on top with a relaxed jean or like with a relax uh the whole look just gets me going so now i know that i can start getting those little sweaters because i have this perfect honestly there's just some pieces in my closet like to be honest there's not that much that is still special to me about this dress but the fit like, it's just one of those dresses that you put it on and it makes the boobs like, mm, and it makes, makes your waist like, mm, 
So I'm gonna keep her for those reasons and those reasons only. I would literally love to know why I hoard clothes like this. Like this is literally my 18 year old Fashion Nova phase. How did it make it through so many apartments and it moved to another state? I truly have no, oh, it makes my boobs look big and good. And it fits my body well. Damn it. I I guess we'll keep her. Oh my God, I love these pants so much. I should have literally paid attention to how cool I felt in these pants and started getting cool girl pants so long ago. But like, this is like my first pair of like actual cool girl pants. I must've got these like two years ago and I wore them to like EDC and I felt so cool in them. And I feel like two years is the perfect amount of time. Like I can definitely bust these out again. Cute. So now we're getting to bottoms. Honestly, bottoms, I know that I've held on to so many random things and I'm like, why? Like this, why? This, why? Is it just me or do leather skirts not make anybody's butt look good? Like for some reason, leather skirts just have this flattening effect and it's never flattering. And I don't know why I try to like hold on to these skirts. Oh, should I though? Oh, I don't know. Cause it's like a staple. It can be styled. Ugh. Here I go again. I'm gonna keep this one. And I'm gonna like literally hold on to the imaginary day where I'll have the occasion to wear this. And I probably never will because it flattens your ass out. All leather skirts, prove me wrong. Oh my God, this I have so many ill-fitting jeans because I kept trying to tell myself that I was a size two like I fully believed I was a size two in pants. So like every pant that I would get, I would get a two and then they would all be tight. But tell me why I insisted on it. And I even got these really cool ones. <sighs> like they're tight, like they fit, but they're tight. Like I put it on and I have to like walk around like <laughs> But like I'm a four and that's totally fine. Like, like why did I have this thought that I was a two and like all my jeans don't fit me. And now that I'm growing my butt too, like now I'm really a four, you know what I mean? Like my butt is big. So I have all these jeans that just like don't fit. Like, let me try these on. Oh, these are actually kind of cool and they fit me. Okay. I'm gonna keep these, these are fun. Okay. These fit me, but let me see if I make my butt look good. Let me go check. Okay, so these jeans actually fit me. Oh my God, this pile of clothes is huge. These jeans fit me. They're just a little bit like thick, so I don't know if I'll ever wear them, but I'm gonna give them a chance in my closet, and if I wear them, I wear them. But you know when a jean is just like thick? Ugh, that's like why I never try with clothing, honestly, because like the jeans are thick and it's uncomfortable. But like, they're cute. Not this skinny jeans. Ah! Today we say goodbye to the skinny jeans. It's kind of sad because these are Levi's, which is like obviously cute, but we're not gonna bring skinny jeans into 2021. Absolutely not. These jeans are cool. Like the back is a little bit lighter than the front and they're cool in theory, but this might've been during the time that I told myself I was a size two for no reason. Ugh. What? Okay. Oh, these are cool. Yeah, these are cool girl jeans. Fun. They're like a little bit short on the bottom too, which is kind of fun. Okay, I'll keep these. Fun. It is so impossible for me to find a leather pant that doesn't make my ass look like a pancake. Um, if you know of one, please link it for me in the comments. Like I just need a form flattering leather, like help. Oh, okay. So I found these randomly in my closet like two days ago. I think I bought these recently. These are what I'm talking about when I mean elevating my style. These are from Princess Polly. I'll link them if they're still on the website. I tried them on and I got so inspired. I just put together a random outfit and I was like, whoa, these are literally cool girl grown up pants. And this is what I need more of in my life. Like, hello, these are awesome. I don't know if you could tell how great they are from back there, but they're a relaxed fit. I feel cool in them. They cinch at the waist beautifully. They form the figure great and they can be paired with anything. Like you could dress this up, you could dress this down. Like literally these pants are so business cash and so streetwear at the same time. So versatile. Versatile, versatile. I don't know how to say that word, but this is what I'm talking about. This is what I need more of in my life. Okay, these are another new addition to my closet that I'm absolutely living for. These are from IMG. They don't sell them anymore, but I recently did a photo shoot and I wore these on the shoot and I asked the stylist, can I please keep these? Like you don't understand how much I need them. And she got it approved and I got to take them home. They're a size extra small and they're these like cargo pants that are just so cool on and you can wear them a thousand different ways and like, why wear a boring pair of biker shorts if you could elevate the look? Like, are these not absolutely everything? And they're comfortable. Ah, these are hot. I don't know why I've been sleeping on these pants for so long. They've been sitting in my closet forever. They're from this brand called J Lux Label. 
and look at how they have this like little tie around the ankle and I love this color like this color is a moment and you can just tie the ankle to make it baggy like that they're super comfortable <gasps> This is what I'm talking about, baby. I see what MeshQ is going for with this pant, but I feel like it's just not doing it. Like it's bunching up in weird areas and like white pants, if the fit is not there, like you just can't, you know, you can't, goodbye. Okay, honestly for outerwear, I have so many hoodies that just don't even excite me. A brand that does excite me right now is this brand, Firstport. They do really cool vintage inspired hoodies that are actually dope and make any outfit look sick. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of all the boring things that don't excite me because somebody will give it a better life than me. Like this excites me. I love this. I love wearing this. It's even reversible. I haven't worn it reversed yet, but this is from Misguided and I love her. Every time I put her on, I feel cool. So if my outerwear isn't like put it on and feel cool, I don't want it. I'm so pissed in the quality of this jacket. I just got it and it's already like shriveling up. That's why sometimes I'm like, should I just buy less things and buy better quality? Because if I'm gonna wash it twice and it's gonna be all shriveled and not cute, why buy it? Okay, wow. Um, this is a lot of clothes. And honestly, it was hard to do because I'm like, wow, it's kind of sad. Like some of it I never even wore and other pieces I was like, oh, it's kind of hard to let you go. Like I feel bad getting rid of it, but knowing that I'm donating it does make me feel good. Anyways, now that this is out of the way, Let's get into the fun part. So this area of my living room has been deliveries and deliveries and deliveries nonstop all day, every day because of my online shopping habits, but I'm rebuilding this closet. These are some of the things that already came in that I wanted to show you. These little heels from ASOS are just adorable. I love that they're a sandal, so they're super easy to wear. Also, the color is such a fun pop of color. And this like little rhinestone detail at the front is everything. And I think they were like 50 bucks. Like these are just everything. Also white pedicure gang. Let me know if you, let me know if you're like me and like refuse to paint your toes any other color than white because it really just is the best color. Like I don't care for toes, white. It's just it. I also got a couple pairs of Jordans. I really like these because of the color combos. These aren't even that hyped. Like these are actually cheaper than the mochas that I bought. I like to buy my Jordans on GOAT, but I've been using these to swap out where I typically would have worn these. So I have like so many different pairs of Yeezys, but I've been noticing that these are just way more in style. So any outfit that I would have done this, I now do this. I have a newfound addiction for IMG. I would always tell myself that it was like pricey and I would never shop from it. I was also a little bit salty because they're like the one brand that doesn't gift me. I honestly haven't really tried hard enough yet, but IMG, if you're watching this, add me to your PR list. I'm about to give you so much free promo you don't even know. So just like add me to the list, okay? I'm over spending $500 on you every time I shop at your site. But this leather jacket is everything. Like I knew that I needed it when I saw that it was a cropped leather jacket because this over any little crop top will be perfect for those chilly nights that you still want your look to be elevated. It was, oh, it actually doesn't have a price tag. It was definitely over $100, but my thing is, if it's gonna be good quality, kind of sometimes you just have to bite the bullet, buy once, cry once, and then have a staple piece that you can style a million different ways. I was a little disappointed with this IMG jacket, not gonna lie, on the website it looked really cute. Maybe it is cute, I don't know, but it has this clasp to like cinch it in the middle and like, it's cute, like it's definitely 2000s, but uh, for some reason I was a little disappointed. Now, when I saw these on the IMG website, I knew that I needed them. This is what I'm talking about. If you know where I can find more of this vibe, cool girl baggy cargos can wear them with anything. I am literally obsessed with these. I got them in an extra small and I kind of regret not getting them in a small because the crotch is a little bit tiny and it gives me a little bit of camel to wall. Except for that, these are fire and I feel like I could style these a million different ways. Again for my MG, I got these leather pants because I was so sick of like the fast fashion-y leather pants that I had in my closet that just like look cheap. So I'm like, let me buy once, cry once. 
and get these. They don't do wonders for my butt. Like I still have yet to find the perfect pair of leather pants that makes the booty look good. Something about the fat, like something about leather just like shrinks your ass. But overall I do like these a lot and the length is perfect for heels. Oh my God, Henny got this at this website called Cold Laundry. And this is the topest jacket ever. I wish, I wish, I wish I got it in my size, but I'm just gonna use it and wear it oversized. But he looks so, good in this jacket. Girls, honestly, I would tell your boyfriends to buy this because they're gonna look hot in this. Like, Henny looks so hot in this. But even a little bit oversized like this, I feel like I could, I feel like I could rock this. This is so cute and brown is so in. I'm obsessed with brown. I don't know why it took me 20 something years to figure it out, but brown is like the best color. Brown is it. So for bags, I'm not really one to spend a lot of money on designer bags. I used to be when I was like 16, 17 and I had my Vine money girl, I was like, let me spend it all on designer bags. And with maturity, I've realized that like I'd rather be about my coin and spend my money in other ways, like more responsible adult mature ways. So I don't really spend a lot of money on bags, but I did need to up my bag game just a little bit. And I find that Telfar bags are a really reasonable price and super, super trendy and black owned, which I love. So I got two Telfars. I got this one, which I've already taken on multiple spins. As you can tell, this large size Telfar literally fits absolutely everything. Like it blows my mind. It's like the Mary fucking Poppins bag. It fits everything. And then I also got this tiny little mini pink Telfar bag, which is so cute. And I cannot wait to take her on a spin, but uh, if you're looking for a new cool bag brand, Telfar. Let me try this on. This is from a place called My Outfit Online, and it could be like very thoughty, but you know, I'm working on my butt. My butt is growing by the minute. So I figured that this would be like a very flattering situation. Let me try it on. I honestly I have no idea what this is gonna look like on me, but it's brown, so we're probably gonna like her. <gasps> Wait, what if I did this and this? Woo, hold up. You know you ordered a size too small and you literally have to bust the seams to make it fit. I don't know why I insist that I'm an extra small. What is my problem? Oh my God, this is hot. This is so hot, this is so fire. I don't even care that I feel like my old Miami thoughty self in this. Like I, if I had a spray tan, it would be game over. Let's try it with the jacket. Okay, I don't know if I live for this moment, but I live for this and I live for all this. Oh, period. I'm just gonna keep it on because getting it off sounds like Mission Impossible right now. It's very tight. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I wanna be a bitch right now and not tell you about these because I'm so obsessed with them and they make my ass look so good and I kind of don't want anybody to know about them. But because I love you and I'm a girl's girl, girls supporting girls, am I right? Like I want your ass to be fat too. I'll tell you about these. Ah, oh, I don't want to, but I will. Hopefully. These shorts, perfect scrunch up the ass, makes your ass look so big, so good. I keep ordering them, I love them, I'm obsessed with them. There you go, don't tell too many people, okay? <laughs> Let it be our little secret, okay? Okay, now let's go through these packages that I've been waiting for this video to open with you because I got some tea. Let's start with this ASOS box. I don't know why I was sleeping on ASOS too. ASOS has tea. Ugh, of course these are honeys. It's so much easier. Like guys, if you know how to, like if a guy knows how to shop for himself, it's so easy to find cool pieces, I swear. Ah, this is all his. Oh, these are mine, period. I got this pair of khakis. Ooh, if these fit the way that I want them to fit, these are gonna be so easy to style 800 different ways. This is what I'm talking about. This is what my closet needed the whole time. Yes, beach. Oh my God, these are perfect. Like, I just feel cool in them. I feel like they don't eat my butt. Like, I still have cool shape. They fit on the waist really well. These are cool girl pants. Thank you, ASOS. These are a size two. What? I'm a two? Am I two or am I four? Ooh, okay. I really hope these rock because if these rock, they're gonna be so easy to throw on. And they have a wrinkle down the butt. So if this does like the good wrinkle, we're in business. But you know what's so embarrassing? When you get pants that have the wrinkle down the butt, but the wrinkle isn't done correctly. So it's just like an awkward wrinkle and your butt still looks flat. 
It's like you really tried it. Ah! And that's happened to me with some athletic clothes, but not the ones that I showed you. Those are really the best. Enjoy. I can't believe I told you my secret. Okay, so these are doing it. Like the butt does look juicy and it is a little bit sheer, which I think kind of looks sexy on the butt. But for some reason, the front is like a little bit big and bulky. But overall, I think this is a good pant. I think this is a win. Next, these are hennies. Of course, they're so cool. Ugh. Men's jeans are cool. Like, look at this color. It's like this tan color with this brown stitching. I mean, girls, I guess ASOS is the spot for your boyfriends if you want them to be as hot as mine. <laughs> oh my God, now I remember what these are. I can't believe I've gone so long without having these in my closet, but I finally got like the early 2000s inspired shades. Now the expensive version of these would be the Chanel ones that you've probably seen all over Instagram, but like, like I said, I'm about my bag. I like to save my money and spend it in smarter ways. So like fuck the Chanel glasses, but these give the same effect. Hold on. Stop. Stop. These are so cute. And if I remember correctly, they were like 10 bucks. <gasps> Ah, I feel like a little bitch. Oh my God, these are it. Period, period, period. These are some dramatic gold hoops. Like I just feel like this would take a boring outfit and elevate it if I felt like it. And I don't remember what this random silver chain is. Oh, I remember. This is gonna be super cute. Like this for streetwear layered hoodie situation would be dope. Or honestly, this could elevate any look because it's so bold and short. Um, but I got this pair of heels that literally, even though they're not edible, they make my mouth water when I look at them. I think they were like 50 bucks at ASOS. Hold please. Like, is this not the hottest shoe you've ever seen in your life? I feel like this is how you elevate a boring little black dress. Like you pair it with a heel like this and have you seen those bags? Like the bags with like the super dramatic big gold chain as a strap. So I'm thinking I'll wear this with one of those bags and then a boring little dress and then the whole outfit looks cool. I kid you not, these were like 50 bucks. Oh, I forgot that I had these, but Henny got some dunks so I can show you them as an example. They look really similar to the Jordans and they're a lot cheaper. So look into dunks if you want a cheaper alternative. These are so cool. Okay, so I feel like you might judge me for this purchase, but sometimes you have to just get a little bit funky with the choices and like if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I felt like these would be a fun little risk, a flip flop heel moment. I don't know how, I don't know. Let me try it on. I am unsure. I really don't know. Like I feel like they're a little bit awkwardly wide at the front. Like why does it look like a duck, you know? But like, are they sexy? Or like, am I doing something or am I not doing something? Please let me know in the comments. I don't know if I'm snapping or if I'm thwarting. I also got them in black, so if I'm thwarting, I'm double thwarting. Okay, next package is also from IMG. I have spent way too much money on their website, like truly. So I've seen these on their website literally forever, and I finally caved. This is gonna be about the fit, because honestly, these are a really cool pair of pants. I got them in an extra small, that was bold. Oh my God. Okay, these are everything. So well, bitch, these are everything. Like they hug me in all the right spots. They're interesting. Like that was my problem with all the jeans in my closet. They were like boring ass regular jeans and this like detailed down the leg, ah, everything. Okay, so again, I also caved and got the halo pant. If you know IMG, you know about the halo pant. These were $100. Yeah, I like these. And they have like a little scrunch down the butt too. They are a little bit long, which kind of like annoys me when I buy extra small things. But yeah, these are cute. I don't know if they're $100 cute, but I'm definitely not pissed at myself for buying them. So that's a good sign. Okay, I hope I love this because this, if it fits, it's gonna be super hot. It's like a leather corset moment. This is cute, but I have a couple other like corset style stuff for my MGA. And the other corset stuff will like blow me away with how amazing it is. And this is like, cute, but I'm not like blown away by any means. I think once I get it all adjusted properly, like I have to figure out how to get this right, then it'll be cute, but I feel like I'm not 
completely satisfied with this to be honest. And I also caved and got their Christina pant. I remember these were expensive, like definitely over a hundred, but they were so like unique that I figured it made, made sense to spend a little bit more money and get a pair of unique pants that could be styled a bunch of different ways. The one thing that I can't stand about their website is that they use the same model for every single picture and she's like eight feet tall and weighs like nothing. So it's hard for me to imagine what it's gonna look like on my body. I wish they would use different types of models. Okay, I mean, this is, this is cool. It's giving me very Christina Aguilera dirty. It's definitely giving me interesting to look at and it's giving me like early 2000s badass, a little bit of Kill Bill for some reason. I like this. Okay, this next package, I literally could not even tell you where it's from. It says New York Broadway on it. So it must be something fashionable, baby. I'm so over life. Like, of course it's for honey. Ugh. These are dunks. They're not for me. I forgot about these. Okay, I'm not that big of a Depopper, but I was scrolling through the Depops the other day and I found a pair of never worn Louboutins for like half the price. And I was like, seems fake, but okay. But like, seems real. And like, they're not, I don't know if I love these or if I hate these. These are like cute. And I feel like they would work with a silver outfit. They're just like a little sandal. I don't know if I hate these. Do I hate these? Ah! I feel like I just got them because they were half off and I'm like, a deal you can never get again. Yeah, these are cute. Long hair, red bottom. Okay. And this is our last package of the day. I selfishly hope it's for me. Oh, I forgot LF said that they were gonna gift me stuff, okay. Growing up, I remember all the rich Miami girls would shop at LF and I would be like, how do your parents let you spend $300 on like the most basic shirt? Oh wow, these actually look really cool. These are just like a regular white pair. Of oh my God, Carmar! They're Carmar jeans. Stop, that's literally a blast from the past. I remember LF, like for some reason, the brand Carmar would be $300 for like those spiky shorts. Oh my God, do you remember that guys? Ugh. Okay, like these are, these are a cute pair of jeans. I'm gonna put these on with them because I feel like this would be a cute, obviously not with this top. Cute, and the white jeans looks really good with my white toes. Okay, a moment, I also like the little rips here, like that's fun. Okay, guys. I had a lot of fun with you, that is, that is it. Um, I really enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you want some of these clothes, how I should go about it. Do you have any ideas like how I should distribute this to you? Um, also, thanks for hanging out with me while I rebuild my closet and started up from new. I'm excited and it was super fun hanging out with you and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you can see these looks in action, baby. Oh, also let me know if you have any pieces that you think I need, like link me them and maybe I'll buy them. Love you, bye.